That was so cool. That was an experience. Good morning and welcome to sunny Stockholm. Good morning. We are currently in the old town of Stockholm and it is absolutely gorgeous here. Most of the buildings here are built between the 17 and 1800s. But this part of the city actually dates back all the way back to the 1200s. Because Sweden was able to stay neutral in World War II, all these buildings really are that old. They haven't been rebuilt and recreated. This is their original form. It's just absolutely beautiful here. The old town used to be considered the slums, but now it is a really sought after area where everyone wants to live. It's covered in all these gorgeous cafes and restaurants. And, and there's heaps of like little narrow alleyways with flower shops and antique shops. And yeah, little knickknacks where you can buy like bracelets and really cheap kind of souvenir things as well. So now we actually arrived here quite late yesterday afternoon. And because we arrived late, we were trying to find accommodation and we couldn't find anything within our budget. So we ended up spending a night in a prison. But more about that later. We're now in the main square of Old Town in Stockholm. And here behind me is the Swedish Academy and the Nobel Prize Museum. Alfred Nobel was a Swedish inventor who invented dynamite, among other things. And his fortune still funds the Nobel Prize winner's award money to this day. In this main square, you can also see all these beautiful, colorful buildings that is from the 1700s, 1800s. This main square was also where the Stockholm bloodbath took place in the 1500s, where Christian II of Denmark, or as we Swedes call him, Christian the Tyrant, executed at least 82 Swedish noblemen. Now, if you guys haven't been watching our recent vlogs, then you wouldn't know that the weather since we've been traveling Sweden has been absolutely horrible. But today, it's blue skies, it's cleared up nicely. Stockholm is delivering the goods. <laughs> Oh, I love this. It's so nice to just walk around here. Church bells ringing. It's just <laughs> really, really nice. Such a historical place. So we literally just found this place as we were walking past and the guy has just taken us in under his wing. His name's Morris and he's absolutely fantastic. He's just offered us to try all these amazing meads from back in the day. They are all absolutely delicious. They are so good. And we're considering coming back for dinner because of this guy, because of Morris. What an absolute legend. Cheers. It's the country that has the longest unbroken mead brewing tradition. Every other country stopped brewing mead when they turned Christian. So this is the closest to the original we have. Wonderful. Right back. Tastes like pork. Yeah, a little bit. Now throw it on the ground and scream, another. Another. Just drink, I like it. I know, it's great, right? Another. Fine <coughs> mead. Okay. It's spiced with uh, conifer sprouts. It's like some sour notes. Uh, works really well together with the honey. Wow, that is really good. Everybody! Hey! All the beer and meat are put into these old hey! clay style cups to really give it that authenticity. Mmm. That's good. Beer meat or a braggot. It's a beer that you brew with honey. It's uh, based on an archaeological find from the 1200s in Denmark. The ingredients have been balanced and tweaked by Fjäder Holmenus Brewery, which is a local brewer about 20 minutes from here in the peninsulas. And this is batch 42. So it's with uh, honey, elderflower, and then cranberries as well. Mm. Good. Mm. Very uh, flowery, fruity. Trying the strawberry one. It's really good. It tastes like cordial. Mm. <laughs> it's yummy. It just tastes like blackcurrant juice. Like 
like Ribena, but high alcohol. We we're meant to come in here for like two minutes, two and a half hours later. If you come here, speak to Morris. Absolute much. legend. Have a wonderful time in Sweden. Thanks, Bye -bye. brother. Thank you. Okay, so we just left the Viking restaurant. That was so cool. That was an experience. I loved it. And he was so helpful and lovely. I definitely recommend going there. It's such a cool vibe. They got live music. Everyone is dressed in like Viking outfits. We've decided that we're going to split Stockholm into a few vlogs. So you're going to get a few so videos of Stockholm. There is. There yeah. is so much to do here. You can't squeeze everything into one vlog. No, nah, like we weren't even planning to go there. We went past it. I said, oh, look at this. That's cool. Let's take a quick photo of it. And Josie's like, let's go in. And the guy's like, here's alcohol, drink. <laughs> awesome. After like the fifth one, I'm like, I'm going to be stumbling home. And he's like, well, yeah, that's the plan. Now it's time to head back to our prison cell. We've been drinking like Vikings. It's time to start living like convicts. <laughs> And after a 15 minute train and walk later, we are now at our home for the night, a prison cell in a real life prison. This place actually has a history of being a prison for 250 years and it closed in 1975. There's actually been a lot of famous people that have been held prisoners here. For example, a famous writer called Jan Guillou, who has written a lot of best-selling books. It's incredible. Like, look at this place. It's still got bars over the windows, sleeping bunks. And the doors are all in their original self. It feels kind of eerie when you look at the old photos and you see how run down it was and how bad it was back in the day when prisoners were staying here. And then you look at it as you go into your room and it's the same door. When we said we were living like convicts, we weren't kidding. This is our room. So as you can see, there's two double bunks, same as the boat. We can't sleep in the same bed. Up here, Josie's sleeping, down here's me. We've got a nice desk here. It's pretty simple, it's pretty standard, but the price for this was absolutely incredible. The room cost around 600 sec a night. Now that works out to about 60 USD per night and includes buffet breakfast as well. The location's fantastic. We're only about a 10 minute walk into the other sections of the city and we can hop on the train after a 10 minute walk and take that for another six minute ride to get to the old town where we just were. Now I think probably the best thing about staying at this place is that the parking is included. Now we were looking at another hotel more in the city and the parking on top of the accommodation, which was almost double the price of here and no breakfast, was 300 sec a day, which is 30 US dollars. To be here, to have everything within walking distance or within metro distance is fantastic. After we come in here, we have the bathroom. It's a pretty simple bathroom. Now the shower is pretty small. You can open it a little bit, but it's it's a tight squeeze in there. But the shower pressure, fantastic. As you can see on the windows, they've got the bar style windows, which is really cool. And then oh, if you look outside here, this looks like it was where the solitary confinement used to be. There's a watchtower here that looks after all these outdoor cells. Uh, so I guess if you were naughty, that's where you went. We're being good. Downstairs on the ground floor of the prison, they've actually got this museum where you can come and read about a lot of the prisoners that were here, some that were killed, some that spent 40, 50 years in this prison. And you can also see how they lived and one of their cells as well. So let's have a look inside the cell. Here is one of the cells. So this is what you could expect the prisoners to have lived in a few hundred years ago. Now here you've got their bed, which also folds up and the bed head becomes a table that the prisoner can then sit and work on his table. And then when it's ready for bed, you'll fold the bed back down and that will become the bed head once more. Then over on this side, you've got a little wash basin, a candle light to light up the room. And down here next to the basin, you've got his little porta potty which you probably can't see because it is so dark in here 
And I can tell you right now, this is not a place that you would have wanted to be. When the prisoners were brought in, they all wore masks over their face to protect their identity. And the mask was kept on them until they were convicted. Just in case they weren't convicted, their name wasn't ruined. So interesting facts. This prison was the place where the first and last execution by guillotine took place. It was also the last execution ever to take place in Sweden. And the man executed Johan Alfred Andersson Ander, and he was convicted for robbery and murder. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. We hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more of our trip through Stockholm and the rest of Sweden, click that subscribe button and the little bell icon if you want to get notified every time a new video goes up. And don't forget to watch our next episode, which is going to be how far can a thousand sec get you in Stockholm, which is about a hundred US dollars. The hotel itself costs 600, so we're only going to have 400. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.